Hi everyone. We've been enjoying some really lovely early spring weather and I hope you've been able to find at least some time to relax over the weekend and then take advantage of it. I'm really pleased to report that the vast majority of, of Hartlepool residents appear to be observing the government rules on movement and social distancing. So I'd like to thank people for being so responsible, but it is important we continue to follow the government's rules and we'll be working hard to remind everybody about the importance of this in the lead up to the Easter weekend. I'm also making a fresh appeal to parents to ensure you know where your children are, as we've had three deliberate fires at Summerhill Country Park on Saturday and Sunday, and unfortunately these fires have damaged quite large areas of natural habitat and some of the fencing on the site. We really want to maintain the public support and ensure that the need for any enforcement action is a rarity and a last, um, a last action. I appreciate that social distance, uh, socially isolating is very dis difficult, but if we continue to follow the rules, we can protect ourselves, protect our families, and play a key part in helping to protect the NHS and ultimately saving lives. In my video update on Friday, I mentioned some of the amazing acts of kindness happening across Hartlepool at the moment. And I just wanted to share a couple of pieces of artwork that children have been leaving for our bin crews, which I know are welcome and appreciated. One in particular um, says, we cleaned our bin to keep you safe. And, uh, and I love this one that was sent in, um, at one of the, at a child waving at one of our lads. And I really can't tell you how much little things like this are appreciated by the crews as they're, they're out doing their, their jobs. I'd encourage you to leave a, a comment down below with examples of any acts of kindness you'd like to share. For example, you might be aware of someone who's provided essential shopping to a neighbor who can't get out or maybe you know someone who's sent a positive message or just picked up the phone to say hello to somebody who's living alone. These may just be small actions, but as I said on Friday, these small actions can make a really big difference to some people who, who are in need. So let's share and celebrate some of the great examples of kindness that I know are happening in Hartlepool right now. Anyway, that's all for me for tonight. I, as always, I know that these are worrying times for people across the town and I, I would encourage you all to take care of each other and continue to look after one another. Good night and God bless.